It's great to be back at the Convention Centre Dublin where we held our very first Women in Project Management Summit event back here in 2019. What's wonderful about this year and our very first one was that they were both sold out events. However, this year we have tripled in size. We have an inspiring group of speakers talking today in a range of topics from emotional intelligence to cultural diversity within a project. I think the big thing about women in any workplace is that they are far more than a quota or a gender balance and sometimes we lose sight of that and certainly in project management a lot of the industries would be around construction which is still very male dominated and you know for lots of reasons and that's changing slowly but I think when you get a room full of women they interact very differently to a room full of men or a room full of like lots of mixed people and I think the networking here and to be in a room full of people and then going for tea and coffee and lunch and talking I think is really really vital really important. In my experience women share a lot more of their personal life during their presentations than men would. I think that's really helpful for women sitting either on a Zoom or in the room who are wondering how they can make these things apply to their life when they're juggling so much. I am the only woman based in Dublin in my part of the company. Because we're not so many, sometimes we tend to be really afraid to step out there. I always feel like I'm never qualified enough. I always feel like I'm a little bit of an imposter in a way. My favorite speaker today was Neve. I'm always asking myself, how can I get better? How can I improve? How can I get more qualified? And she gave just very simple tips, both from a practical and a personal perspective to overcome this kind of obstacle. I sometimes feel like I tend to push back or step back because I don't feel like I belong there. We do belong here. And events like this really prove this. I think the world we live in, the projects we're working on, often have a feeling of being very stressful and very chaotic. And I want to say, when you notice that, your feeling it's all very stressful, stop whatever it is you're doing and give yourself at least five minutes break. Go and do something physical, touch a cold glass of water, step outside, just pace yourself and then when you're feeling a little less overwhelmed by it all, come back. But don't waste any energy pushing yourself harder because if you're already not thinking clearly, it won't add any value, it'll just be a waste of time. So I'm going to talk today about the change techniques that you can introduce to your project to increase your rate of success. It entails focusing on people rather than technology and, and injecting a little bit of empathy into your project management methodology. Part of what I've been speaking about today is the fact that you can bring project management wherever you go, but you kind of come up against the same issues. So I think if people weren't in the same industry, I think a lot of the same patterns apply. Put people as their central focus and, and they're more likely to be rewarded with a, an increase in project success. I know it's a man's world, let's say, and sometimes your voice, even if you are maybe well qualified or with a bigger knowledge than themselves, it's very difficult to, to make your voice heard. And therefore I think that this kind of event somehow will, uh, will give confidence that we can uh, have success in life and we can face, let's say, with, with the open heart, uh, <laughs> the, the men's world and uh, make the things better. Thank you very much to all the speakers and delegates for participating in WIPN today. We really hope to see you again next year.